Hi guys, it's Carl here again from Let's Talk Retro and in today's short video I'm going to be showing you how to use your RG Boy to control games on your pocket chip. Let's take a look. So guys, the first thing you want to do is get yourself over to this GitHub page. I will uh, put a link to this in the description so you can get to it nice and easy. And uh, this is um, for the RG Boy Gamepad software, uh, which has been developed by a guy called Fuopoi. I hope I Fuopoi or something. I hope I hope I've uh, pronounced that correctly. Anyway, uh, sorry if I haven't. Uh, but all credit goes to him for this great piece of software. Um, and so the first thing you want to do then is just go over to Clone or Download, and click on Download Zip. It's now just downloaded over into my downloads nice and quick. Just drag it onto the desktop like so. And uh, the first thing you want to do is get this folder named exactly the same as the inno file, which is actually inside here. I'll just double check. I'm sure it's just the exactly the same as that for about the master. So, yeah, it's just RG Boy Gamepad without the inno file. On the end there. You've seen me do this in my last video on how to get games onto your RG Boy. If you haven't seen that, you might like to check that out. So we just need to get rid of this master on the end here, like so. And then what we want to do is drag that into in our documents folder. We've got a folder already set up called Arduino. And that's where you put all your sketches. Again, this is in the last video how to get games onto your RG Boy. And so that's in there now ready to go and to be loaded to the RG Boy. So I'll just get rid of the website now and open up my Arduino software. And now when we go up to the top of the screen here in the sketch, hopefully, uh, sorry, in the sketchbook over here, it's under file. Hopefully we'll see RG Boy gamepad. Click on that, that'll open up the sketch. And then all we've got to do is upload it to our uh, RG Boy by clicking on the upload button here, which is the arrow pointing to the right. And that's it all loaded up onto the RG Boy. So once you have the RG Boy gamepad sketch loaded onto your RG Boy, you want to configure the keys. And I'm going to configure the keys to work on Pico 8 on the pocket chip. So the first thing you want to do is to hit the red button here on the right. Then we want to use the down button to go down to configure keys. Hit the right red button, then go to up, which is what we're going to configure first. Go down to modifier and again hit the red button on the right and go down with the arrow to the bit that says up. Then when we hit the red button again you'll see it says key set at the top so that one's done. Next we're going to do down. Again down to the modifier and across to down. So these are just mapping the keys from the pocket chip here to the RG boy. So the left button again down to modifier and just go across and down to the left, which is left, and then hit the red button again. And then the right button. And then again to modify it once more, and then across to where it says right. So then that's left, right, up and down all set. Just got to do B and A to go down to B for the B button. Again, hit the red button, and this time you want to go to alpha numeric the first button apart from the left right up and down is the zero on the pocket chip keyboard so we'll click on that and then the other button that's used on the pocket chip keyboard in Pico 8 is the equals button so again alpha numeric and then go down to the bottom and across to where it says equals press the red button again and that's the key set so once they're all set we can just go with the left red button back to uh, the main screen and you can just go down and filter to now and select begin but it's best to go into file management and then save keys because you can actually save five different configurations here so we're just going to set this as gamepad one 
So it saves complete and then you just go down to begin. And then all that's left to do is to get the micro USB cable, plug the RG Boy via the micro USB cable into the pocket chip and you don't have to download any drivers or anything, you should be all set to go. So here we are, I've configured everything exactly as I've showed you. I've got my RG Boy plugged in via my micro USB cable to the pocket chip. Just loading up the Pico 8 software and pick up my RG Boy and hit the right button to start the app, get into the app properly. And I can use the up and down arrows to go up and down through the games. Also go left and right through the menus and that's all working really nicely. So if I just go to Dust Child, I think I've already told a lot of you that this is one of my favourite games on the uh, Pico 8. And as you can see I'm now controlling the character with the RG Boy. It's really nice and cool. And I was just going to say it's a lot easier to actually control using your pocket, uh, using your RG Boy than I go and kill myself. As you can see, it really is it's a lot easier to control if you ask me using this. And it all works together quite nicely. So one last thing I should mention is once you've turned off your RG Boy, the RG Boy Gamepad software won't always remember your settings. So to load them back in again, just go to the file management. And instead of doing save, you do load and just load gamepad 1, remember we saved this earlier load complete, go down again and click begin and you're ready to use your RG Boy once again on Pico 8 on your pocket chip So guys I think you agree it's uh, quite an easy thing to do to get your RG Boy to uh, control your games on your pocket chip and uh, if you're lucky enough to have both of these it's quite a good fun little project just to get them working together so uh, yeah I mean you might not want to use it as a controller all the time for your RG Boy. I know that in the, if you watched my last video I said I didn't really like using the controls so for me it's a, a nice little option. It's not like a huge controller that you've got to carry around for, with you either if you want to keep it things sort of portable. It's just this and a USB cable to plug it into the top of your uh, pocket chip. So yeah that's uh, about it really for the, today's video. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it interesting. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and uh, to keep up to date of all our videos. But until next time guys keep it retro.